What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp plugin review for you. So this week we're going to talk about an extension that helps you deform shapes in your model, allowing you to create geometry that would be very difficult to create otherwise in SketchUp. This week's extension is called FFD. Plugin name, FFD. Plugin developer, C. Phillips. How much does it cost? It's free. Where do you get it? It's located in the Sketchication Extension Warehouse. I'll link to it in the notes down below. Tool functions. This tool creates a deformation matrix that you use to deform shapes in your model. What that means is it creates a grid of points, and when you move the points around, it will def deform your model to match your point movement. This extension only works with individual geometry in a single group. Groups within groups won't work. In addition, your geometry must be subdivided in your model. What this means is this plugin doesn't create your faces in a model, so it will only move the geometry you've created. For example, if I try to deform this cylinder, you can only deform the ends because those have geometry on them. However, if I subdivide the cylinder into different pieces, then you can subdivide it across the middle as well as on the ends. This plugin comes with several built-in grid sizes, uh, 2x2 and 3x3. It also allows you to create a custom grid size for greater control. It also has a subdivide function that allows you to divide your geometry based on your grid size. Usefulness and functionality. This plugin is great for deforming different shapes. It has a bit of a learning curve, but it allows you great flexibility in creating interesting and different shapes. You do have to be careful to divide your geometry the right way sometimes. Value? This extension is free. There's no reason not to download it and try it out. I was, I was not able to find a donation link for this developer. Ease of use and documentation? This extension had a bit of a learning curve, but once I figured out the specifics, like dividing faces and keeping individual geometry in groups, I was able to start making it do what I wanted. There are several YouTube videos that, that are worth watching on this topic if you just search FFD. If you like this plugin overview, remember we're going to be coming out with new plugin overviews every Thursday. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, make sure you click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, not all the extensions that I review on this channel are free, and that just kind of helps me offset some of the costs of creating this, creating SketchUp content for you guys. But in any case, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you taking the time, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.